What's going on guys, it's Luke22SV here, here for round 4 of season 1 of my career mode, here for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, off the back of a good result in China, 11th place, uh, albeit a little bit lucky, we did perform well in China, having lowered the AI to 92, so coming into our bogey track, we're really hoping to uh, uh, just do as best as we can really, but we got some upgrades to the car this weekend, some aero upgrades, and I'm not sure if I'm the only one that's noticed this, but I think that the performance in the uh, 2019 game is just a copy and paste of the 2018 uh, because it looks exactly the same and uh, I think that really needs changing because uh, the performance like that is not real uh, to the real performance in real life so I hope that changes uh, in the patch coming up hopefully uh, we'll move on into qualifying then for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix uh, so just looking to do the best job as possible we can this weekend uh, I'm, I'm sure if any of you have seen the mixed Schumacher career modes that I've done um, Every time I've come to back here, I've just bottled it, uh, not done a, t at all a good job. So uh, coming into this weekend, we need to see uh, if we can get a good, good result. Because we've struggled so far this season, not really impressing the board. And I'm sure Dr. Helmut Marco is not going to be too impressed with how we started either. So under pressure, really. Uh, but despite having a good result in China or so, we're, we're pretty much Toro Rosso's best driver at the moment, despite having a bit of a shaky start. But uh, we're up on our lap time by some margin we had an off uh, in the previous lap that we tried so it's looking good so far hopefully we can improve the lap time Raikkonen is having a poor season as well in the Alfa Romeo uh, it's a question of who who's going to keep their drive towards the end of the season it could be a mid-season driver change who knows uh, what will happen I'm um, very excited to see that but coming through the stadium section then the castle section we run into the wall and that's going to be the end of our lap we ended up not getting damage from the first hit but we actually had a second hit then uh, where our front left uh, end plate just went off and uh, yeah so that's going to be the end of the end of our session and we haven't got enough time to come back to the bits get a new front wing get some more tires and fuel and go back out so starting from the back of the grid then and that's going to be a disappointing qualifying and uh, definitely not going to do ourselves any favors in this uh, season uh, our teammates in 16th so we could have really qualified him with a good lap there but not to be uh, we're down at the back behind Raikkonen and, uh, well, let's move on into the race then for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Can only get better from here, uh, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can improve. Uh, who knows, there could be safety cars around this track. Uh, but we let David Croft take over for the time being. Good afternoon and welcome to Baku. This was the arena, if you think back to 2017, of one of the most eventful races of modern history, with controversy behind the safety car, last second overtakes, and a historic podium for Williams and for Lance Stroll. With the race minutes well, let's go on then to the grid then for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, who is on pole position. That is indeed going to be Valtteri Bottas from Lewis Hamilton. So Mercedes locking out the front row with Vettel and Gasly on row two. So uh, Verstappen's on row three with alongside Weber having a hell of a qualifying for Alfa Romeo. And then both the racing points of row four, Leclerc getting a penalty. And Ricardo Hulkenberg on row six. Butler and Russell doing quite well there. And then Magnussen, Albon, Norris, Kubica and Raikkonen having a disappointing day and ourselves having an even worse day starting from the back of the grid then as we head on into the race for the Baku city circuit and uh, let's see what we can do we can only improve from here so we head to those five red lights to watch the race start and it's away now it's a fairly substantial start again uh, not really can, can't really lose any places off the start but can we make any places into turn one dive down a few drivers there uh, almost getting chopped up by our teammate, but now Lando Norris, who we've, who we've had a bit of trouble with so far this season, and uh, we dive down the inside of him into turn two, and uh, we t all get side by side with him there. P17 then, after the start, so we've gained three places so far. We can see Alexander Albon just down the road, so can we get close enough to our teammate? We really want to beat our teammate, really, but everyone's constantly up into turn three. Dive down the inside of Alexander Albon, uh, turns in on us a little bit, but we get, gives us just enough space to get a car width there through. But on the outside of him still, we still hanging around on the inside. Up into P16 we go then, so we've gained four places now. Ahead of our teammate with the most important thing now, we've got Kevin Magnussen and Nico Hulkenberg ahead of us. Uh, maybe there's not too many overtaking spots around here now. But can we get slip one down the inside into the castle section of this track? We dive down the inside of Magnussen and think about diving down the inside of Hulkenberg too. So P14, so we've gained six places now off the start. So perfect start for us. We've made uh, done everything we had to do and now we're up into P14. But again, a little bit out of shape there. We're going to be on the back foot onto this little straight. Hulkenberg's going to be all over us like a bad rash. Magnussen's there too as we head towards the uh, this corner up here where Vettel and Hamilton had their incident a few years ago. 
and now Magnussen taps, taps us up behind and he's put us round in a spin and uh, Hulkenberg rather puts us in spin uh, there's a bit of front safety wing there and that's from Alexander Albon because it's not ours and uh, the safety car's now deployed so what happened there why did Hulkenberg run into the back of us well if we look at the replay as we try and turn the car around get back to the pits and uh, well um, well let's, let's see what happened uh, we're going to pit for the medium tyres because uh, now we're going to get a free pit stop out of that so it's a win-win situation really and our tyres are just overheated from being spun round and just trying to spin the car back round so uh, we're going to be pitting at the end of this lap uh, so the safety cars come out for that uh, I'm not sure really what happened but uh, we'll see uh, from the replay um, so we're going to be pitting for the medium tyres as well at the end of this well as we come in as has Sergio Perez as you can see there so Perez perhaps thinking the same thing he could get a pit stop out of the way and go to the end of this race now so that's a tactical genius from Racing Point to get their pit stop out of the way uh, could have brought both the Racing Points in really but uh, only decided to pit one perhaps he's just not risking it with uh, Lance Stroll but uh, we come into the pits then to put on these medium tyres and catch up with the safety car uh, pack so uh, we were thinking about putting on the hard tyres but I haven't seen Perez on the mediums we decided to go for the mediums too so we come out the pits and uh, all crossing the right white line. So an eventful start to this race. And we'll see what happened from the start now uh, as we come around to turn two to, to catch up the safety car start. Here's the replay of the start then. Uh, both Mercedes leading from the start. Uh, both getting a good, good launch as well. So here's us at the back just drifting away. But we dive down the inside of several cars. Almost diving past our teammate into turn one. But think better of it. We don't want to lose any front wing uh, with our teammate particularly. But we do dive down in the inside of a few cars into turn two. Lando Norris there on our side. Uh, but we now get past him, uh, heading up towards turn three. We can see our teammate uh, fighting with Kevin Magnussen, our rival from the Mick Schumacher career mode. But uh, there we can see we just dive down the inside of Alexander Albon. All turns in on us just about. Managed to get our car through there. Easily have lost a bit of front wing, but get away with it. And uh, we're on the outside of him now. Uh, we get past Alexander Albon and then heading up to the castle section. Uh, putting in a risky move on the inside of Magnussen and Hulkenberg uh, but it pays off until of course the incident that happened just a few corners later we dive down the inside then uh, and then we get past Magnussen and get past Hulkenberg originally just thinking about getting past Magnussen but it ended up just breaking a little bit later and managed to get past Hulkenberg and putting us into P14 so uh, coming through at the end of the council section we just get out of shape and that puts us uh, invulnerable to Hulkenberg and Magnussen coming up to this straight and to the next corner uh, which is just around the corner there and um, you see Hulkenberg just runs into the back of us I'm not really sure what happened uh, taps us from behind and that just puts us out of shape and into a spin and uh, that just holds everyone up and then Norris loses a bit of front wing as does Alexander Albon I believe so uh, they haven't decided to pit though which is a bit of a surprise get the car turned around just about but let's have a look at the onboard from Nico Hulkenberg see what really happened here and whether it was actually a little bit of my fault as well but uh, he just taps us there we go to take the corner it wasn't really an overtaking spot so uh, I'm not really sure what Hulkenberg was doing he perhaps maybe I cut in front of him I don't know uh, we'll put it down as a recent incident though I think it wasn't really anyone's fault in particular if it was anyone's I'd say it was Hulkenberg so I don't think I was really at too much of a fault there uh, but you're not going to overtake there anyway um, but yeah we now move on to the end of lap three. The safety car's coming in at the end of this lap. There's our main rival for this race now, Sergio Perez, who's the only person that's pitted so far. So uh, we're in the net first and second place here, me and Sergio Perez at this point, uh, with everyone else yet to pit. Uh, so let's see how this race goes. We'll see whether we can actually bring home some points because now we're looking very, very good to get some points here uh, with everyone else yet to stop. So the safety car's in then and we're preparing to go racing again as we get close to Sergio Perez without overtaking him, seeing if we can get the best possible restart here. Um, being a little bit cheeky, getting alongside Sergio Perez and the green flag's now out. So we're back to racing here at the Baku City Circuit and we dive down the inside of three cars going into turn one. Uh, Robert Kubica, Raikkonen and of course Sergio Perez. So we're up into P17 and a net P1 here. So uh, we're in net first position. So that's perfect at the moment. We've just got to keep going. And uh, now we can see Alexander Albon in front of us. So uh, the, the race continues then. And uh, we just got to see, carry on, keep it on the green, uh, the black stuff. And uh, keep it off the green stuff. Although there's not much green stuff around this track. But uh, Alexander Albon is in front of us now. Our teammate who's yet to stop. So we need to get him out of the way really. He's got a bit of front wing damage as you saw. At the start there was a bit of front wing that fell off his car. 
and uh, we've got to get past him quickly because he's not going to be going as quickly as he can uh, with his little bit of damage so we need to get past him as quickly as possible of course we don't want to risk our front wing either or ruining his race even further because that would really annoy the uh, Toro Rosso board a little bit more and uh, put our seat at jeopardy perhaps but uh, yeah now we're going through the castle section again uh, we see Alexander Albon just in front of us so gain three places off the restart uh, which is a good amount of position to gain because of course the uh, field spread can actually cost you a few seconds if you don't uh, gain those positions so that could really have helped us a big time in this race uh, with the guys at front yet to pit and uh, they'll be pitting fairly soon around lap 5 and lap 6 we bounce over that curb nearly hit the wall there so uh, we've got to be careful about that curb uh, in the rest of this race but coming around this uh, well come around to the start and finish straight which is about 9 miles long I don't even know uh, it's the longest straight in F1 uh, I believe but now behind Alexander Albon uh, we're going to get a nice toe. No DRS yet, of course, because of the uh, race has just restarted. Sebastian Vettel sets the fastest lap of the race. And I believe there's a few cars in the pit. So dive down the inside of Alexander Albon. It's Charles Leclerc and Lewis Hamilton who are pitted. So we're ahead of them comfortably for now. So we'll see where they end up uh, in a few, well, a few laps time. Uh, they sh we should expect them to catch us up because we're in one of the worst cars on the grid at the moment. And I'm just terrible around this track. So... Uh, we'll see. We got past Alexander Albon then, but we move on to lap six. I've got Sergio Perez behind us now, so uh, a little bit of traffic, and uh, he's now managed to catch us back up uh, with a few cars still pitting now. Nico Hulkenberg going long. He's on the medium tyres at the moment, so we'll, we'll expect him to come in for a set of softs, maybe a set of hards, we don't know. Uh, but Sergio Perez now closing in on us on the end of lap six, onto lap seven. Is he going to be able to make it past us on the outside? Uh, he's gone to the outside to make it past the we hang out on the inside. Just going to force him out wide. We stay in P4 for the time being. Lando Norris is the next target. And, uh, well, he's actually fighting with Nico Hulkenberg at the moment because uh, they've been switching places there. So, uh, well, everyone in front of us is yet to pit. So, we are still leading this race and uh, moving on to lap 8 and P3. And we lock up a little bit there. So, we've run wide and Perez has got past us. And so, well, we're down to P3 now. So, Sergio Perez managed to get past us. So, Perez is leading the race. Uh, on aggregate and but well but on on the net first place so Hamilton now wanted to look to get past us as well we got a poor exit out of turn two so we're struggling at the moment uh, a few bad corners and we lose two positions then so we've gone from first to third or from second to fourth in the actual race so uh, Leclerc's now wanting to get past us so have the floodgates open have we just allowed are we going to allow everyone else to pass us now can we get past Lewis Hamilton again he's a little poor exit out of that corner are we going to think about diving it down the inside uh, probably not there's green flag as well so there's obviously been some yellow flags behind us Leclerc makes a little bit of contact with us there so I don't know what Leclerc was doing trying to make a move into that corner uh, but there was really no room for him to make a move there so I uh, don't know what Leclerc was thinking uh, Lance Stroll is out of the race so uh, not it's not all going to be good news for racing point today uh, Lance Stroll out of the race so uh, all their points are going to lie with Sergio Perez who's currently in a net first position and uh, again a poor exit again out of the castle section and that's put Leclerc interested in making a move on us, perhaps. Uh, we've got Sebastian Vettel just behind as well. And Valtteri Bottas will be there as we come through to uh, the end of Sector 2. And to move on to Sector 3, which is just going to be the back straight. You see, we've got both the Ferraris filling our mirrors. And uh, we come to end at lap 8. And we've got a few laps left then to see whether we can stay in front of these guys. Or whether we're going to be able to, uh, whether we're going to lose these positions. But even if we do lose these positions, we should be in the points comfortably. So... Uh, maybe it's a good idea to let these guys go, who knows. But there you can see Leclerc now thinking about making the move. You can see Vettel and Bottas behind us as well. So coming down into turn one, Leclerc looking to make the move down the inside of us. Can he get into P3 uh, into turn one? It looks like he has. He's got past us, but we are on the outside. We'll hang around the outside and stay ahead of him. So Leclerc getting a poor exit out of turn one, and uh, we just choose to stay ahead of him then. Uh, I mean, we don't really want to fight these guys too much, but if they're not going to make an effort to overtake us properly then uh, we're not going to just let them pass and just carry on with our day. We need to go as quickly as possible, really, because uh, despite these guys being miles faster than us, there's the rest of the top ten which are probably faster than us too. So it's always good to have a buffer behind us as well at the same time because we're fighting for position, we're fighting for points, we're fighting to impress the other teams as well uh, going towards next season and just trying to get the best possible career for ourselves. And uh, we're just really looking out for ourselves at this point. But again, Bottas is now the next target. Uh, for us to defend from and you can see in the background it looks like Lucas Weber in the Alfa Romeo is uh, also catching us up so there you go and it's probably good to have a little bit of a buffer behind us because Valtteri Bottas both the Ferraris 
are not going to get past us in just one lap. So, uh, all being well, uh, we should be able to stay ahead of them for the time being and uh, keep the rest of the top 10 behind us as well. So then we can actually get a point and that's going to be perfect. So Bottas, again, looking really close to us going into this little corner here. Uh, and uh, there's, there's a Ferrari on the outside of him there. And there's a little bit of front wing loss as well. So uh, one of the Ferraris has lost front wing and I believe that is Charles Leclerc. So uh, Leclerc uh, making a rookie error there and Sebastian Vettel uh, going around the outside of Valtteri Bottas. And Bottas has lost two positions in two corners there. So again, now it's Leclerc's chance to try and get past us as uh, Bottas loses out. And then you can see Weber and one of the Red Bulls, who I think it's Verstappen, uh, looking close as well. So they're closing in. So we've got to watch out for those guys now. So there's going to be five cars on the back of us. A little bit of a trolley train as Leclerc heads to the outside this time into turn one. Can he make the move? No, he can't. We just get, keep it ahead of him. But on the, he gets, can he get the cut back out of turn two because he gets a better exit? It doesn't look like it, but what about turn three? Sebastian Vettel looks interested and Sebastian Vettel dives down the inside now. So Vettel uh, alongside Leclerc, uh, but again, he doesn't get the better exit out of that corner. So Leclerc keeps hold of that position for now. And Vettel getting a bit of a slipstream, a bit of DRS. Can he get past him into turn two or turn three, I should say? On the outside, you can see Leclerc's front wing damage there. So Vettel is now the main culprit now to get us. Can Vettel get into P2, uh, P3? And uh, you can see Alfa Romeo and the Red Bull have caught up really a lot now. So we are really just struggling for pace. We're just struggling to keep these cars behind us. As you can see, they've it, it, it literally caught up to the train. We go through the castle section again uh, with Vettel now our main target to defend from. We get a little bit out of shape on the gas there. As we come through the tight and twisty part of the section, the smallest part on the F1 calendar. And you can see Vettel is going to be itching to get past us now. We've got past the Glur and Bottas there. So good driving from Sebastian Vettel as we come up to this section now. Vettel is actually the fastest man on the track as well. So he was really behind us then. He was thinking about making a move into this little corner here. Uh, but again, it gets a poor exit. So Leclerc now looking on the back of him. But uh, they seem to just have a little bit of side-by-side -side action into that corner. That slows him down going onto the main straight. So that actually helps us a lot. And uh, that's perfect for us. We keep ahead of him for the time being. And uh, that's perfect. So we, we're in P4, at, well, P3 at the moment. Vettel, P4. We could be getting our first podium at this point. Who knows? But Hamilton's still P2. And Perez is still P1. So Perez could, could win this race. Perez could win for Racing Point. That would be incredible for him. And incredible for Racing Point as we come into turn one and we get out of shape again and we run wide and we're really struggling on these tires. We pitted on lap one. So, well, of course we're not gonna be that fresh, but again, we did really only use them at the start of lap four. So who knows, maybe these tires are starting to go off as well, which isn't really helping. Uh, Leclerc and Vettel, they're all on fresher tires, all in the better car, probably all better drivers too uh, than ourselves right now. But uh, we're just three laps to go. We're in P3 and a potential for a podium here and uh, we move on to the end of uh, lap 12 then and Vettel is still behind us so two laps to go uh, we're going to be able to get a podium here if all things all stay the same and Hamilton is still in P2 so Perez still leads the way at the top so no idea uh, why Hamilton hasn't got past Perez yet but Vettel looking to get past us now onto the podium can Vettel get past us it looks like he has managed to get past us now can we keep in front of him into the turn three no Vettel has got past us so Vettel uh, we see him run away and now Bottas is looking to get past us as well so and now Grosjean's there as well so where on earth has Grosjean come from uh, we're really holding everyone up as Grosjean's actually managed to catch up so uh, yeah no idea why we're we going so slowly but we run out that run wide and hit the wall and we lost a bit of front wing so we're now down to turn, uh, P5 now we're really st starting to struggle we dive, dive it back down the inside of Valtteri Bottas Def desperate move but we lost a bit of front wing uh, out of that corner and now we're in real trouble if we want to stay in this uh, in the points now because we've got, we're going to be really slow and even slower than usual now. So everyone's caught up. We've got a whole train of cars behind us and a broken front wing. So this isn't going to be good. And we've got Roman Grosjean behind us. And we've got to really keep this uh, lead. And, uh, well, keep P5 going into the last lap. Can we stay in the points? There's so many cars behind us. Uh, it, it's just maybe we just try and keep hold of P5. We run wide, surely one of these cars or two of these cars, maybe even three, can get us onto the back straight and uh, see if they can get DRS. They're going to be getting DRS. We're going to get such a poor exit out of here. We're so much slower than Grosjean. Uh, can he get a move on us? He's surely going to get DRS. He's surely going to be get, able to get past. We use the hot lap DRS. He's getting closer. He's got, looking to the inside, then goes to the outside. But there's no, Verstappen's not getting close enough. But Grosjean 
only just getting to the outside of us into turn one. We lock up and then we force him wide. And then you see there's three abreast there. You can see Ricardo, Verstappen and Weber all side by side. So we're onto the final lap of this race. We're in P5. Can we keep hold of this position? And uh, it's just, it would be incredible to get 10 points for Toro Rosso, who struggled so badly at this point uh, in the season. But uh, this is going to be perfect uh, for us if we can stay here. here. A little good uh, tr uh, strategy masterstroke, really, coming in early, as it was for Sergio Perez, who's, who we don't know whether he's going to win this race or whether it's going to be Lewis Hamilton. Uh, but who knows? We come through this section where it's, it's not going to be easy to overtake. So we're safe for the time being. We lock up our front left uh, brake there. So coming through... Now, Grosjean still behind us. Uh, so, Grosjean, can we keep Grosjean behind? He dives down the inside. Uh, remarkable uh, trying to overtake there. Like we did a few, well, on, on lap one and uh, last lap on Bottas. But come through the castle section, we drive as slowly as possible. Uh, just looking to keep these guys behind. But now, uh, with just a few corners left, can we keep hold of P5? And can we bring home these points? Uh, surely it would be a perfect way to, uh, well, just doubt the critics. And we hit the wall again. And now we've lost a whole chunk of our front wing. Now Grosjean goes past us on the outside. And uh, we've lost a whole chunk of our front wing hitting the wall there. Just understeering into the wall. And it looks like we're going to have to let Grosjean go. But he locks up two. And tap his rear, well, rear right tyre there, rear left tyre. Lose even more of our front wing now. So our front wing's completely gone. Can we keep hold of this position as we come around the last few corners? Grosjean's now gone. We understeer and we're into the wall and we're out of the race. We've just a, just a straight left to go. We completely bottled it, and we're going to have to retire from the race. Oh, jeez. That was a horrible, horrible thing to happen. We were doing so well. We were on course for a podium at one point. Then we just went down to P5, lost a bit of front wing. And then we just, with just a few corners left, we could have got our first points. But we hit the wall, and we retire from the race. And, uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> that's horrible for us. That's, we, that's going to keep us awake at night, I'm sure. Uh, but potential for so many points there. Here's the replay of what happened. We just run into the wall. Grosjean's now all over us. We have a tiny bit of our front wing there. It looks like a bit of a surfboard on the front wing there. But uh, Grosjean on the outside. We end up coming up to this corner. We lose a little bit more front wing, just hitting his rear left tyre. And uh, that's all of our front wing completely gone now. As we come and we just understeer, we just come through this little section. We can see a whole train of cars. And you can see there's a Williams in there as well. And uh, we just understeer, hit the wall, and that's going to be us out of the race. And uh, if we were able to continue a little bit longer in that replay, who knows what else would have happened. But it's quite disappointing that we uh, don't really see any more of that. But that's the end of the race then. Uh, what could have been a hard, good summer points there has ended up being nothing again. So we come close to the points in China. We come close to the points in Baku. And it was Hamilton who ended up winning the race then from Sergio Perez and Sebastian Vettel. So Perez uh, getting another podium in Baku. He's actually got a good record in Baku. So that's quite realistic, actually, that Perez has managed the podium. And uh, Weber's down in eighth. George Russell's in ninth. So Williams have actually managed to get points here. So uh, that's perfect for them. Magnussen's in tenth. We're down in P9. And the Red Bull boys are not going to be too happy about that. If we look at the standings, then uh, we see that Hamilton's leading the way, then from Vettel and Bottas and Leclerc down to fourth. Uh, Perez is up to sixth, then with that podium. We're down to P16, uh, and uh, again, no points for us. We're down to last in the constructors as well. Williams are up to eighth ahead of McLaren, and uh, McLaren, uh, Ferrari lead the way. Uh, Mercedes lead the way from Ferrari by 15 points now. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be uh, the end of the episode there, guys. Uh, <laughs> let me know what you think of that. Um, some novice driving for myself on this game. Uh, we just completely bottled it. And uh, we'll just see you again in Spain then for round five, hoping to uh, claw back our performance. But like and subscribe, guys. And uh, I'll see you very soon for round five.